Good morning and welcome back to Beauty Bee, where today I'm going to be doing, I believe my sixth, fifth, it doesn't really matter at this point, inspired by my wishlist video. This one is because it's Urban Decay Weekend, of course, uh, themed around the Stoned Vibes palette. Now I've actually been interested in this since it came out and okay, I love being right as all people do and when this first came out, I thought it was really cute. And I heard all of these people anti-hauling it. And about half of the people who I heard anti-hauling it eventually bought it and really liked it. So I feel vindicated. <laughs> Did I, do I own this? No. Am I really emotionally attached to Urban Decay, this palette, whatever? Not really, but... Now, if you've been on this channel before, you've probably heard me talk about just how much I love a glittery lid, often with just pretty minimal other eye makeup. And that is exactly what this palette has to offer, and I'm so into it. Also, I made the cutest little craft uh, a couple days ago. It's a, it's a palette. And I'm just setting down my eyeshadow primer. Today I'm going to go um, really dramatic, I think, with this. Probably more dramatic than I really should for Friday morning at 8 a.m., but it'll be fun. I'm going to start out with a silver, this one. Don't, don't know why that was so awkward to point out, but, and I'm just gonna put that all over the lid. The entire point of this video is that you don't need to use the exact products to get very, very similar looks. However, I will list everything that I use in the description box. Just don't feel bound to those, that list in any way, please. If you should choose to recreate this. Okay. To replicate that subtle shimmer that the Urban Decay palette offers, I think I'm going to use a little bit of this liquid glitter. This has little holographic sparkles in it. Hopefully you will be able to see on the eye. It's actually a pretty subtle effect overall, but I just want to give it that extra little bit of holographic shimmer, just like the shade in the Urban Decay palette has. And I will put up the picture of the Urban Decay palette with the corresponding shades to what I'm using starred. I don't think I bothered to introduce that earlier. So I'm going to wait for just a minute for that to dry, but we're going to move on to some liner actually. This is, this is going to be fun. We're going to start out with some black liner and then we're going to make a really duochrome wing out of the um, blue-brown shade. It looks black in the picture that I put up, I'm sure, but you look at it a little bit closer and you look at the swatches and you can see that it's that baby's first duochrome shade like this, sort of a uh, MAC Club, a, um, blue-brown, that one from the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette, which I'm pretty sure is this, though I actually got it from a different Wet n Wild palette. Okay, I think we've given the e.l.f. glitter long enough. So I'm going to first just do my wing as normal. I will probably do it off camera because goodness knows I never managed to actually stay on screen while putting on winged liner. So we've got the winged liner on. I actually think I did a pretty good job of keeping things more or less even today. We'll just go with more or less, that way I'm covered. But this is gonna be the fun part. So 
I'm going to need a angled liner brush and my blue brown shadow. I'm just going to take that on the angled liner brush and just swipe that over everywhere where I have the black. Isn't that pretty? I mean, compare the two. I'm, I'm so into this. On the other side. All right, so we have the wing done. I think I actually now wanna go back into that silver shade that we started out with on actually a different angled liner brush. And I'm going to just Put that under my eye Oof -da. and try to not stick it in my eye. Which is for some reason easier said than done. We're just going to smudge it out a little bit with my own finger. And now I think I'm going to go in to the blue-brown shade again on my other angled liner brush, the one that we started out with. And I'm gonna put that right next to the lash line. It's really not as impressive when it's not over the black. Colored bases definitely make a huge difference for these more duochrome shades, but I do think it still does a good job of defining the eye. And visually thickening up that lash line a little bit. Now, I think I am actually going to pull for the peach. This is the shade I'm going to be using. It is showing up much brighter on camera, I think, than it is in real life. It is actually really close to the peach shade in the Stone Vibes palette. I'm taking that on this very fluffy, big crease brush. I'm just going to go over the edges of the silver a little bit add a little bit of warmth to the face because I feel like this all cool look can be a little bit overwhelming. And I think this will make it a little bit more appropriate for, you know, 9 a.m. <laughs> okay. So I like where all of that is at. Is it the most flattering? No, it's probably not the most flattering look I've ever done to have silver gray essentially on the inner part of the lid, but I really like it. I think this is an interesting color mixture. It's kind of Slytherin vibes, isn't it? Isn't... So I got really off track telling a meandering story about my waning interest in Harry Potter over my teenage years as I was putting on my um, brows and applying mascara. So I probably edited that out because it really never went anywhere. And <laughs> I'm going to now move to some cream blush. I'm going to use this e.l.f. 3-in-1 blush and just tap a little bit on the cheeks. This actually blends out nicely with the fingers. So I'm just going to go with that because my brush that I usually like to use for these cream products is disgusting. I really, really need to wash it. Maybe a tiny bit more. Let me go over my nose. And I think that's looking good. Now, let's just actually use the same color on the lips. And 
and I want a little bit of highlighter and I think I'm actually going to use some bronzer as well. I'm going to be using a little bit of this Park Avenue Princess bronzer just to warm up that blush a little bit, make it a little bit more neutral, a little bit more nude. I'm going to extend that down my neck a little bit because any bronzer makes it very obvious, I feel, that my face is already a little darker than my neck. Okay, I'm more or less happy with their, with where they're... Okay, so I'm more or less happy with where that's at. Now, I do want a little bit of highlighter, not a whole lot, but, you know, a little something. I think I'm going to use my Essence Pure Nude highlighter. This without bronzer is a little bit too dark for me, but I think with the bronzer, it should be good. Yeah, I can get behind that. And I'm not getting any weird yellow streak at different angles, at least that I can tell. So we're calling that a win. Okay, so what was the point of this video? I think that at first glance, the Stoned Vibes palette from Urban Decay looks quite difficult to dupe within my collection. I have some glitters, but I do not have an entire rainbow of them. And in the pan, the Urban Decay ones look quite different. They look almost chunky, which would generally be a bad thing for something that you want right next to your eye. However, all the reviews I've seen, they seem to apply quite smoothly and quite beautifully. Oil of Glitter is a great candidate for duping within your collection from things that aren't actually glitters. I mean, this liner is giving me the same level of almost iridescent beetle shine that the Urban Decay black looking glitter would, but it's just a regular-ish eyeshadow, a duochrome eyeshadow that probably a lot of us have or have something very similar to, and black liner. Okay, and with that, I think we have reached the end of Urban Decay Weekend. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked this video as well as the other three. I will definitely link the playlist that contains all four videos from this themed weekend down in the description box as well as up in the cards. I hope you'll check it out. I had a really good time setting up this weekend and I'm looking forward to doing some more themed weekends in the future. I hope you will like and subscribe if you enjoyed and I really hope I'll see you next time. Bye!